Hello, my name is uh, Stay Toasty, and this will be my first uh, video on YouTube. I um, I play uh, Football Manager, and this is the series I'll be doing um, for YouTube, my first YouTube series of any kind. Um, this is my first time filming, so in a way, it'll be kind of a growing period um, as me as a YouTuber, and for the club that I'm going to take over um, for the purpose of the save. Um, I'm going to try to upload daily. Um, I'm starting. I'm trying to get all my, uh, all my setup going. Um, so definitely for the first week or so, it'll be um, hit or miss. But I'm probably going to get stuff up the first, maybe first five episodes um, within the next week. Um, I've been playing Fall Manager for uh, a while now, a few years, playing FIFA pretty much the last 10 years. Um, no, played FIFA a lot, um, but, um, Football Manager is different. I've always enjoyed, especially for all games, for FIFA, for any type of sports games, um, I've always enjoyed the front office stuff. I've enjoyed, um, buying, buying players, selling players, um, you know, change of where I play, um, and trying to make it all work and kind of seeing my team move up the ranks and football manager is the perfect hub for me to do that. And I've been playing it for a while and I love it. And I decided to, um, to do my own series for a couple reasons. Um, First of all, it's very England heavy, and there and there's a it's very England heavy both for the teams, um, the career modes are the career modes being played and the people that are doing the career modes. A lot of YouTubers, you know, no offense to them, but you know I'd like a little bit of a different, a different of a a variety of YouTubers, different people with a voice, and I'm hoping that I can be that voice. Um, first of all, a little bit um, background on me, I'm. Uh, I am a Portuguese American. I live in California, in the United States. Um, my parents are first generation. Uh, I'm a first generation um, American. My parents are immigrants, um, and my favorite team is Benfica. And so I watch soccer of all leagues in Europe, pretty much. Even I dab a little bit in the in the in the MLS and the Liga MX in Mexico, um, but I usually focus on uh, the EPL and, uh, the Portuguese league. And, um, you know, just because that's, I love Benfica and I hate Porto and Sporting. And, um, so I love seeing them play and I love watching other teams play because, you know, that's, that's what I enjoy. So that's kind of where my expertise is as far as players is. Um, so that's, to start off with, that's where my first series is going to be. Um, and I will now um, go into my series right now. Um, we'll click in here. We'll go switch over to that. Um, I will be playing with Yunyong the Lady. Um, they're a third division team. Um, as you can see in the Campeonat Nacional Criu. Um, they are pretty experienced um, first team Um you know, first division team, kind of have a child up and down. Um, why I picked them? I picked them for a few reasons um, that I'll go over with in a bit. Um, so let's just go over with them. They're, they've been, they've kind of stumbled. I think, I think they went down for some kind of financial issues, kind of like uh, Juventus and Ben Parma went down in, in Italy. Um, for the same kind of same reasons, um, or not, not not Juventus, but Parma. For I think just they just you know um, bankruptcy, so they had to go down. Um, so this is kind of our you know building them back up. Um, they finished first last year, but it's a playoff uh, playoff um, kind of tournament to get into the second division. So obviously they they won their division, but that didn't uh, mean that they got promoted, um, which is unfortunate. Um, so let's, um, look over, uh, the, the club, um, general, 
Um, their rivals are Academica, which are uh, which just got relegated from the first division. They've had a few years in the first division, so that was good for them. Um, I believe we're in the northern part of the country. Um, about $3.3 million value, which is not that bad. Um, I think most of that is probably due to our facilities, um, which are pretty good. That's pretty much why I picked this team. Um, their stadium is the Estadio Municipal de Lady. Um, and I believe, yeah, you're built 2003, so I'm very sure it was built, um, in preparation for Euro 2004, which is in Portugal. So they kind of were one of the, I think with Academic as well, I think all the, I think the big three all got their stadiums kind of rebuilt, um, in preparation for that. And a couple other small, smaller teams, um, around the country. Um, so that's kind of why I picked them. I mean, their field conditions perfect. Um, stadium is very good. Um, you know, 23,000, that's pretty big for Portugal. I mean, there's some teams in the first division that have less than 10,000. I think some teams have like 3,000. So to have a 23,000 seater stadium available to us when you get to the first team would be great. Um, so, and then we have impressive training facilities, which is great. Great youth facilities. This is probably when they've been break up because they were too busy investing in this and not worrying about actually putting quality on the field so that they can stay up and excellent junior coaching and above average youth recruitment that's what i'm looking for especially being down here in the third division we're probably get some good um, people in our um you know in youth recruitment so that'd be great um we don't have any affiliates i don't believe no affiliate clubs so maybe we'd be looking for that um history um they've won the second division twice and these are just little this is just like division third title or something like that. So that really doesn't, um, you know, affect us. And they have, you know, if you guys want to stop and look at that, you guys can, um, you know, founded in 1966. So if you guys want to stop the video and kind of look over that, you can. Um, so let's, now let's look into the nitty gritty. Um, now let's look at transfer budget. This may not look like a lot. <laughs> um, and I, it's it's gonna be tough. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to buy any players anyway, so a lot of this is just gonna go into free transfers. Um, we're probably gonna if we get an affiliate, we can get some loan players, um, but we're gonna have to work on it. I haven't added anybody um, yet. This will be just an initial video, kind of tell you what I'm gonna do, and then um, the next video is where I'm gonna go into the transfer market and show what happened and. Um, you know, and get into our first game. I'll go over the transfers and go over the preseason and kind of see where we're at. Um, so this is our transfer budget. Pretty much non-existent. Um, not even fine. If this for actually a third division Portuguese side, it's not that bad. I mean, they have the, the payroll budget of like a like a, a national league in England, like a Vanarama national type of payroll. So, I mean... I don't think we have to worry about it too much. Um, squad. Um, let's look through the squad here, through positions. Um, we don't really have any strong depth anywhere on the team. Other than center back, we have a couple. We have uh, João Lima, who's on loan from Benfica. So he'll have some quality. Um, okay, stats. Um but everywhere else is just you no know, all right players i don't know if that's so we're gonna have to see what kind of ability that is um let's see um yeah so he's he's a good player for most division two sides so and he's our best player um so we're still probably gonna have to add a little bit of quality if you really want to play well um along with not having great depth in the anywhere in the in the first team other than maybe center back um i think i'm gonna take this as a plus um just because yeah none of these players are really standing out other than joan coimbra that being said he plays in as a center midfielder um but he doesn't there he doesn't really play box to box or ball win ball winning midfielder i mean 
he'll do a job, but I mean, he's more of an advanced playmaker, deep line playmaker kind of player. Um, so I don't see him, you know, yeah, stamina is okay, so that maybe that'll be okay. But um, yeah, I'm not expecting him to make any, you know, you know, ball busting runs up the field. Um, and that's kind of one of what I want to play. Um, and that's probably going to mean that I'm going to have to get rid of these two defensive midfielders. Um, um, just because they're not even they're not even that um, you know, you know. I'm not really able to do anything with them. I can't. I mean, I, I don't really play with number um a number six. Um, I do play with them sometimes. I play two tactics, well, which I'll show later on. Um, but only with one of them I play with the defensive midfield, and that's really just a backup. That's really just um if my first um kind of formation is not my first tactic is not working, you know, move something else, try it out for a couple games, see how it's going. Um, but usually I I. I stick with one tactic, um, you know, unless the wheels are completely falling off and I'm, like, at risk of losing my job, which happens a lot in football managers, so I'm not going to lie. Um, so this is basically the team. I mean, it's not... We're... This team probably looks very different to what you're probably going to see by the time our first next episode comes around, ready for our first game. You know, the, the transfer history, this is all going to be full i'm sure with ins and outs um you know we're in the first of july i started this at the beginning of the beginning just so i can get make sure everybody knows the tactics on time and make sure i have plenty of time to kind of um you know weed through these players and make sure they are what i want them to be um but they are i mean i think as far as star players i think the players that are really going to work in my tactic are going to be Andres Avedu, just because of his crossing. His crossing is great. I play with two wingers. Um, so to have a winger that's able to get, you know, his stamina is oh, good, but his pace is what I'm, you know, I'm a little bit worried about. Penalty taking is good, so we'll have a guy that can take the penalties. Um, we'll have the crossing, so that'll be good. And then we have our striker, Jorginho. Um... 28 could be worse um and he plays in his advanced forward that's what i play with um pace not great off the ball good so he's making me some solid runs good touch good heading good finishing so i think he's gonna have a big year for us and i hope he does because um if you want to you know get into that second division we're gonna need some goals and um you know these uh these third division Portuguese defenders are not that great so I mean if he's not scoring you know a few goals then I, either I'm doing a crap job or um he's just a crap striker so it's gonna be one of those we're about to, we're, but we're gonna figure out this season um youth um we actually have this guy um I'm really excited about um you know he's I mean we have a guy there this crossing not great but he's you know he's young Natural finish 14, so um, he's young and he's you know projected to be pretty good, um, you know, and he's very well suited for our division right now, and he's only two stars, so um, maybe loan him out, maybe give him some time in the first. I mean, as of right now, I have no idea how this is all going to end up. So things can change. I might sell, and then he might become our number one. So um, you know, I might need the money. So anything happen right now um so we're definitely see but then we have some other guys too um you know fabio freida uh, who four tar four star potential so he could um definitely do a job for us um if necessary we do have three goalkeepers but um you know he's 19 we have a few young people too we're like you know i don't know why they're in the first team we're probably not have to loan them out so even these two defensive midfielders that's what i was thinking you know we're gonna have to kick these two out because they're like they're just not going to do the job for us. Um, so, we're probably, and I want some depth, you know, positions, you know, so, I, so I'm going to probably bring a lot of people up. Um, tactics. Um, I could probably go through with you with your tactics, my tactics right now. Um, I'm going to be playing, um, I don't have a loader right now, but um, I'm thinking um, fourth. Two, three, one. Um, kind of play with an attacking mid, an attack, advance forward attack, two wingers, 
ball winning midfielder so he can you know you know win the ball and the box to box are just you know spurring text forward back line is probably going to be nothing special um just a simple back line uh two full backs on automatic a couple defenders um uh, center backs on defend um and this will be my backup um if anything happens um you know, we can come in, probably do another box box here. Ball winning mid for the classic center mid here to kind of just, you know, you know, hold from hold possession. If we're playing against the, a better team, um, that we want to get the ball, you know, hold the ball for a little bit. Um, so that's my tactics. And then I'll kind of go through the tactics to our first game uh, further on. But this is kind of, this will be the basic um, alignment of what our team's going to look like um, for the first week that's not what i wanted um so this would be for our first game um unless um unless i find somebody that really i think is a you know above quality but immediately because i'm playing the position that i want him to play but it's just so good that i can bring it on a free transfer that i have to change the formation um but i don't see that happening um the staff um we don't have much of a staff we have zero scouts we have one physio have some coaches um our coaching is probably the best in the division we're best as far as goalkeepers and we're pretty close to the top on every one second for attacking so we're up there for everything else for that but everything else is just garbage and um i'm gonna have to look through that i um i don't do a lot of the um like coaching um decisions i usually let my general manager doing something like that unless there's like a player that i like who's been you know good for us and he wants a job and i'll offer him a job as like a you know an uh, analyst or a scout or something like that you know keep him in the family um you know but usually with youth players and all that stuff and um like youth transfers usually i let them do that and then i usually do the um you know the transfers for the first team um you know unless i'm you know unless i'm really you know block you know really trying to get a tactic that'll work i'm just like screw you know all the other stuff i'm just gonna worry about this and i'll let the the gm do about the transfers um so yeah this is what we're gonna go with and um you know i know this is my first video and i know you guys are um unsure um what i'm gonna offer um but if you give me a chance, I'll give you a chance, and um, yeah, I'll give YouTube a chance, and I'll hope this is be fun. I mean, I'm gonna be uploading no matter what because this is just a little bit something, to, you know, a little hobby that I want to do. Um, you know, and hopefully becomes, you know, a lot of, you know, more than that. And maybe I, you know, you know, if I see it's going well, I'm gonna continue to upload. That's basically what it is. Um, you know, so hopefully this will be fun, and I hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you know, uh, enjoy, you know, a career that's a little bit different. Um, you know, with an American accent and a Portuguese team, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.